kids out here messing around. It's kind of cold, but I'm going to show you. Uh, I'll just do a walk around of my trailer setup I have here. I mean, this trailer started out as a, I think it was a 6x12. I cut it down to about 10 feet, I think. Um, this is basically to haul my dirt bikes. Uh, I can get two bikes on here or all the pit bikes. I can get all three of the pit bikes on here and then some, which is cool. Um, got two fire extinguishers. One's for grease fire. One's for just regular. Got a five pound propane tank. My shore power cable. That far right box is like my kitchen box. That's my kitchen side. It's got pots and pans, uh, utensils, bowls, plates, whatnot. This one has just random stuff like tape, zip ties, pliers, all of our uh, awning lights, just random stuff in there. Uh, I've got, excuse the noise of these heaters, I got both these heaters running right here. I got this little right here, and I can get all four, uh, four LED work lights. Yeah, that way they're not that bright and they're pointed down at the ground so it kind of lights up the ground i have a yakima slim shady awning uh, some cheap max tracks just in case this side right here is what i call my kitchen i'm gonna get me a better bar or cage i'm gonna get me some type of cage door for this so i can shut it and lock it but probably still snacks in here from the last time i took it out yeah i got tin full pop tart Set to make smokers in there. Got some drawers with wipes and lighters and headlamps, paper towels, trash bags, plates, spoons, seasonings, all that good stuff. This one's what I usually keep all my bread and chips in. That way, it, I'm not gonna open it, but that way they don't get smashed. This diesel heater right here, uh, it's, it's pumping good, but it had a real weird smell to it. So I'm just gonna, oh, I honestly wanna burn this whole tank of diesel out in it. I've burned about that much. It's ran for maybe three, four hours total in its whole life. So I wanna burn it. I'm gonna run it here pretty hard and see if I can get that smell. And if not, I'm gonna buy another one. Um, up here, can't really see it, but I have a, uh, grill that I got from Target. I think it's called a stoke. And I cut the stand off of it and welded another stand to it. That way I can just bring it in here. And what I do is I just slide the two legs in here. I cinch this set bolt down on the leg. And then I have a little prop leg over here. And that way when I pull my awning out, uh, I have a little table right here that I put there and do all my cooking on this side. I'll throw a picture here in just a second of what that These 7,500 pound jacks, all four corners. Um, that way we can stabilize it up. So as far as the, so as far as power and charging this thing, um, I got a lot more room for switches. That's something I love to use them for. I found these boxes in the trash, which is cool. Inside here, I've got a. Um, it's just a Duralast 100 amp hour. Um, deep cycle marine battery and I got my charge controller in here for that I've also got a solar panel that I can charge that up with and I have a uh, 
So I have a Thunderbolt solar panel from Harbor Freight, and then I wired a Renogy uh, MPPT charge controller to that. And it's just, it's actually sitting in there inside the panel when you fold it up. It has a little room between. It's all sitting in there. I can charge basically any 12 volt battery I want with it. Up front, I have the Honda EU2000. Um, if push comes to shove, I can fire that bad boy up and hook it to the battery charger and charge up or um, just hook it to the heater for emergency come and whatever. I've also got, like I said, I got the cord for shore power from we can hook up to the campsites. I ordered some roto packs and they weren't the size I wanted, so I'm going to take these off and probably use them for a different project and get some bigger ones. I really only want one for gas, water, and diesel. It's only um, not really so much gas. I don't think I ever run out of gas. Uh, if we go ride dirt bikes, I don't carry gas in that. I'll carry my big race jugs. Um, but I would like to have a bigger water one and I have a diesel one inside. But I do. The uh, only reason I'd carry gas would be for the generator. And honestly, that little one right there would probably be enough to refill that generator back up and uh, get me by if I ever needed to. What else on here? Also, oh, tent, me built Gen 2 Overlander XL. Um, I like it. I've got a memory foam pad under the existing pad. And I wish you could feel in here. It is toasty with that pipe coming in. Um, I had it, so. So on these diesel heaters, they have, if you notice, they have an intake, which draws in. They have an intake, which draws in, you know, clean air, then it heats it and goes up to the tent. It's meant to recirculate its own air, which this one is meant to go up to the tent. It does run hotter and more efficient like that, but it circulates the same stale air in there. And if you don't have something like a vent or something in there, I noticed, it just keeps circulating the same air, the same air, and it, it kind of got stale in there after a while. So I set it up like this. You notice I had it where it was running both in there. So I set it up like this where it just draw, you know, clean, cool air in. It did kill the heat output, which you could feel it with your hand. Because I shoved, the, I had the tube up in the window. And I just shoved it out on the ground and held my hand in the the heating part of it. And you could feel it instantly get cooler. But I'd rather have the fresh air going in there than being overly hot. Because definitely gonna have a blanket and stuff in there. But this thing is like it's. As soon as you open this tent door up, it just hits you in the face with heat. It's nice. Like it's not. It's it's nice in here. It's fresh air heated fresh air so that's it's a little better i don't i don't know if it'd be safe to just keep circulating the same you know stale you know you're in here breathing two people and exhaling i don't i think it'd be better just to go ahead and pull that fresh air in i really don't know what else to say about this thing i just want to do a quick video of it uh, i plan on building another one of these here in like two months, but a little bit smaller. This one I built to carry behind my other, my Chevy Silverado, I'll show you in just a second. Yeah, this is the Silverado. Um, it's just a basic truck. They don't have no lift. It's got some wheels and tires. Um, I caught this rack off Marketplace. It's a voodoo rack. Uh, it came off a Toyota. I cut the bracket right here, flipped it. It gave me enough room to bolt it. Uh, we have spent many nights in this tent i got my storage box in here i actually use this to carry my bikes in uh, i have the moto net uh, found it up in the snow i'm trying to thaw all this out but this is the old gen one smitty built their og tent um, it's real good it's real nice i have the annex to it too over there on the trailer and i have a queen size bed that'll fold out here and go in the annex and you go up and you have the the tent this one has a insulated liner in it for winter camping and i got some max tracks on this truck too because it's not the best off-road but it's, it gets me gets me where i'm going to go for the bikes definitely not an off-roader by any means especially with the wheel tire setup that's on it um actually the wheel tires do good in snow honestly i've had this thing actually some pretty crazy places uh hadn't even didn't even mess the wheels up i figured it would destroy the wheels wheels and tires came on the truck when i got it and they're brand new not a scratch well until i got them 
kind of scratch nothing on them uh, so i'm gonna wear these out and then probably sell them trade them and get something a little bit more narrower but i can't say truck's clean oh, i ain't got the keys on me but yeah truck's clean that's that's it this is what i usually pull the trailer with this would be like the base camp while we ride dirt bikes. And the tongue weight is a little much if you don't have the bikes on it because the axle's so far back. I may in time move that axle right here, which I think it would help tons with the tongue weight. But I still don't think it would help uh, pulling it with the Jeep. I do want to make a mini one of these. Basically same setup, uh, minus the generator, um, minus probably the grill and just swap that battery over to it just swap them back and forth and something i can pull behind the jeep i uh, would really enjoy that that'd be that'd, that'd make my day but all right so the box is let me take this door down I'll show you the door i got this door off i think it was amazon it's just a little aluminum fiberglass door deal i, think I got it on amazon pretty cheap and the box is made out of three quarter inch birch plywood you can see i made a little inset shelf in there it gives you plenty of room there's my air mattress we can get all of our stuff in this box it's sealed up you can lock it um, and then the exterior i put on several coats i think it was three coats of valspar exterior grade super flex house primer and then i went with six or eight cans of this uh raptor u-pole raptor liner um, the only other thing I haven't went over is the rack. I got the rack local from a store here in town called Rack Stars. Highly don't recommend it. If you see how this thing bolts together, it's just, I don't know, I don't know how you could ever expect something like that to be strong. They, they bent real easy. It's just, I don't know. Um, I think next time I'm going to get some, uh, some sheet metal and design them and make my own. But that's about all I got right now. I'm just going to do a quick walk around of my trailer um hope you like it uh you got any questions leave them down below i'll get back at you yeah appreciate y'all watching man i'll see y'all in the next one